So uh, it was tight, but now that feels much better. Yeah, yeah. super. And you're going to have a near brain uh, next deal anyway on your suit. And yeah. even for the latex, um, as part of the ordering process, we will try all of the different neck seals yeah. to find the right one for you, and that's what will come on your yeah, suit. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. So it's not one size. Um, it's all. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we know that this suit, what we're looking at in this suit is the shoulders, because we know that this suit, you need an XXL S. And this is a, a what? An XXL. Right, okay. So you need the short version. So. Yeah. But, but the, the sizes are the same in the chest area and the top area, so it's good to get you in it so we can see it. And I can see that the top half is fine, and this part is fine as well. What's wrong with this suit is the length of the torso. This yeah. is too long and the length of the arms and legs, but we know that. Okay. Because it's the wrong size suit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can see from here that the, the body, this area, this area, and the waist area is yours. So these would be, uh, these are dry gloves? Yeah, I'll show you those in a second. Okay. These are, they're smart seal. Right. Um, 
And is that standard on suits? On all of the suits. Is it? Oh, right. That's... I'll show you those. We've got a demonstration kit. So you look good. I think we should get a photo of you both in your Santa suits. Excellent. And then we can uh, and we can go on and look at the, the boots and the seals. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Question for you on a yes. male point of view. Um, we talked about P zips. Yeah. So, is there really any point if that's really easy to get in about? It's up to that, you. Is... Everybody's peeing habits are. <laughs> but I'm just thinking if, if it's. Like... Desperately no, but, ah, yeah, but I'm just what I'm thinking is is that with a, a back opening. Yeah, you have to get zip, unzip. You've got to get somebody to, to unzip yeah. you, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that's all that fat. Yeah, you, should, you know. Yeah. Um, where with this is the front opening one. I'm just wondering where they still need. I can say that in the, the front zippers are, are probably at least 95% of suits nowadays. Right. And there definitely has been a decline in the ordering of these zips with yeah. the increase in the front zipper mark. Yeah. We do maybe one in every 30 suits with a P zip now. We do a lot of people it, with P easy to fit these zips because it's all sort of crinkly isn't it? The thing yeah. is this is, <laughs> this is something that affects you know I suppose that most men and, yeah. and women but you know as guys you know, of a certain oh, age, age yeah. uh, you, you get out of the freezing cold water first thing you want is to go for well, it. Well happens it's a natural most, thing. I would say half of our suits now come fitted with a P-valve. Yeah. And people okay. are using the P-valve for a guy and guys and girls lots of girls are using P-valves as well. Yeah. Um, that is, that is a conversation that is. No, uh, but I can get one of my female colleagues to explain fully. But if you're but doing longer dives, I suppose it's not just, to be honest. It's a consideration. Some of us have them fitted because maybe we do longer dives or yeah. more technical dives, but then everybody that I know, okay, I say like this I don't know anybody that has a P valve that doesn't use it on every dive. Yeah. This video is sponsored by Narked at 90. They are beyond technical. Right now, there's an offer on if you go to narked90.com and use the big scuba code big scuba 2024. Because it's so convenient and it's yeah. so nice. And if you're in a dive site where the weather's horrific, you don't want to get unzipped. Well, this is it, you know, uh, and you hang up the time, and um, most dive sites, there's hardly any getting out of the weather and what have you and just raining the last thing you want to do is get all your kit out and then, then go for a week sometimes. then come back then you've got to go the kit in and, yeah. and you know it is, it is something and especially when you're ordering a suit um, you want to get it as much as possible that perfect thing with all the bits and pieces that you want for only, your convenience there's only one warning and this is a very serious warning and I, and I failed with this on the first time I used the P-Valve right the catheters are glued on the inside. They're glued to you? Yes. So it's like a condom. Right. With a, 
with glue on the inside. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't That's want to experience, thing think about if you don't want to experience a, a Brazilian wax, <laughs> then you should definitely um, make sure you clear the trees okay. before you use it. Yes. Right. I got you. Right. Because okay. the end of the dive is quite painful. Yeah. Okay. Right. Something to think about. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something to think about a lot. But yes, it is. I mean, it, it, people are doing it, and it's evolving. And Halcyon have a fantastic bee valve. Yeah, uh, it's really good. It's really hygienic. You can you have to clean it. You clean the tube. Um, yeah. But it's it's yeah. Does the, the tube goes off out your leg somewhere? Does it? Yeah, you connect the tube, and it comes. You can have it on your right leg or your left leg, depending. Like, you get That's a very personal. But it is. It, did you know? Yeah, it is something that I, I would want in place because at the end of the day, you know like me and other me, other men you're going to want to go for a wee you know? but now you know yeah, that when you're it. diving and he looks at you and smiles <laughs> a bit like just, that in the wetsuit just put an extra thing kicking <laughs> make sure you're Don't not downstream <laughs> so, excellent great right. can we get you out yep. um, and then uh, once you're out and you're changed we can come back here and, and start okay let's do that yep. Yep.